hey guys you welcome back to my channel this is relationship tv with jenny and this is where i talk about every aspect of human relationships from a moral perspective if you're just seeing this video for the first time my name is jenny Falgo and i make my videos only for fridays for now today i want us to talk about courtesy yes courtesy you know what they call courtesy now that polite behavior that gesture that is wonderfully given that's free of charge kind of thing yes it's all about courtesy today we're talking about courtesy now, the truth is okay so many relationship mistakes can be avoided if only we use that word courtesy properly in our various human relationships and interactions yes after the fact that you went in child in search of the partner another thing that is more important is the way you talk so many relationship mistakes quarrels divorce all of it happen in be it in a marriage relationship be it in ordinary relationships custody plays a very important role to making you relate well with people now Take for instance in marriage. If you are married, choosing a partner is forced. Secondly, is costly. You know why? Because rudeness is that cancer that devours love. So if only married men and women learn to talk to their partners politely the way they we talk to strangers they meet in offices and businesses i'm very sure some people who are angry in their relationship today would not be yes a lot of people are angry in their marriages and in their relationships it is notorious to know that it is only those who are very related to us that tends to be very rude we are more polite to strangers than we are to our partners to our relation our relatives and all those who are very close to us we wouldn't dream of ever interrupting strangers to say good heavens are you going to tell that same old story again we don't dream of opening our friends mail without their permission nor prying into their personal secrets but yet, we do that to our close relations. It is only our dearest friends, our dearest relatives, that we dare shout at for their trivial faults. It's an amazing but true thing that the people will practically say things that are insulting and downgrading and disrespecting to are those of our families our household our relatives our husband our boyfriends and those of our close acquaintances we dare not do that to strangers that is an amazing fact now what is cussy exactly according to henry cray cussy is that quality of heart that overlooks the falling gate and calls attention to the flower in the garden after the gate that is what custody is. Custody is as important in your marriage, in your friendships, your relationships, your acquaintances, as the way oil is to your motor. It is really sad to know that some of us, okay, can't wait to, to get home to pour their frustration on their family. Maybe they have a court, they had a quarrel in the office with a colleague. Or something went wrong in the office or their boss summoned them and gave them query any of all that or some you ran into one garbage garbage truck on the road that made you angry you cannot wait to come to your house and pour it to the family members that is wrong very wrong in whole land before you enter a house you remove your shoes on the doorstep i know it's a it's capital somewhere around maybe we should learn from the dutch okay to throw off all the troubles of the day 
by the doors before you enter the house so that you don't use your hand to mess your relationship up i was speaking to someone the other day and person was telling me that she's angry with her husband that all she just think of every time is divorce because the way this one talks to her makes her cry now why is that man talking to his wife like that if he goes to his office now, he will be like the perfect gentleman. If he's having a conference meeting, he's going to be like the perfect gentleman. But he comes to the house, he's talking to the wife in a way that makes her feel like there's no hope for future anymore. Cassie, very important. Enough. Most men who would not even dare to raise their voice to a partner in business or a client cannot wait back at their wives some of us women who will not even raise their head up to reply to a colleague or to respond to anybody will not wait to snap at the husband and tell him his whole life because very important because the relationship is very important more Far more important than your business, your work, in whatever you are applying cost it to. So to conclude, I would say this. The way you speak to your partner in marriage goes a long way to keeping your unity at peace. That little compliment you give to your wife makes her feel so loved. Because if you tell your wife how beautiful she looks on that particular dress she wore some weeks ago for your dinner, Trust me, she will never, never want to sell that dress or give it out for anything. And you, the woman, if you compliment your husband and make him know how important he is to you and telling you he will go a long way to keeping you happy, even if it means hurting himself and buying himself of, of a lot of other things. This is because any man will run away from a shrewish tone, a nagging woman and his cold. That's what it means. So if you want to keep your family happy, you want to keep your boyfriend happy, you want to keep your relationship happy, you want to keep your interactions and encounter with people happy, be cautious. Be cautious. That is the message for today. Okay? So I will see you again next week, Friday. Please, if you have seen this video, share it. It's not nice if you watch and keep to yourself. Please. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on that red subscribe button and you will get notification of my videos every week. I've been the beautiful Jennifer and this is your relationship TV. I will see you next week, Friday. Once again, please be cautious. I love you. Bye.